we like we are live, Vivian, could you confirm we're ready to go? We are ready to go. Okay. All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'd like to call the uh, October 20th, 2022 City of Santa Cruz Planning Commission meeting to order. Could we have a roll call from the clerk, please? Yes. Commissioner Conway? Here. Commissioner Greenberg? Commissioner Kennedy? Here. Commissioner Maxwell? Not there. Commissioner Mercedes Miller? Here. Commissioner Schifrin? Here. Commissioner Dawson? Here. All right. Moving right along. Uh, do we have any statements of disqualification for this evening? Okay, this is the time we're going to move right on to oral communications. This is time for the public to address the Planning Commission for any non-agenda items. If you'd like to speak on a non-agenda item, this is time to raise your hand. To press the, the raise your hand uh, at the bottom of your screen or star nine on your phone. Um, give it a second for anyone who would like to address the Commission for oral communications. Okay, just confirming with the clerk, I don't see anybody, any members of the public in attendance. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay, moving on. Um, we'll move on to approval of the minutes for the October 6th meeting. I would go ahead and entertain a motion um, for approval or any changes that needed to be made. So moved. Second. Okay. Uh, uh, one, one item I want to just, just ask about really quickly. Absolutely. Um, we talked about that right turn thing, and I was pretty sure we ended up with language. This is the words, uh, traffic control device shall be installed to prevent vehicles from making a right turn when exiting the facility onto Pelton. And I thought we had softened that language, but I wanted to ask the other commissioners what they remembered from the meeting, because I was not 100% sure. This is condition number, uh, where is it? Well, this is at the bottom. It says mm -hmm. the extent permitted by Department of Public Works and the fire department, a more substantial traffic control device shall be installed to prevent vehicles from making a right turn when exiting the facility onto Pelton Avenue, the device mm -hmm. shall be included in the final building permit plans. Did you think we did something different? No, I just want to make sure that that word prevent was our intent. And I, I, I see now that that, um, like to the extent permitted does limit it. So um, when I was reading the minutes, I just noticed and thought I would ask. Okay, so do we want to make uh, a, a motion to amended motion or are we good with the motion on the table to vote on it? I'm good. Let's go ahead and vote. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go for a vote for approval of the minutes. It was moved by uh, Commissioner Mercedes Miller, seconded by Commissioner Schifrin. Uh, clerk, can we have a roll call vote for approval of the October 6, uh, 2022 uh, um, minutes? A point of procedure. Before we do, I, um, I just want to confirm that there's nobody in the public that is there that might want to speak to it. Correct. There are no members yeah, of the there public. Is, yeah. There's still nobody. There are no attendees. There are no attendees at this time. Um, so, uh, uh, Clerk, could we please have a roll call? <laughs> yes, Commissioner Conway. Abstain. I was absent. Commissioner Kennedy. Aye. Commissioner Mercedes Miller. Aye. Commissioner Schifrin. Aye. Commissioner Dawson. I was also absent. So, uh, move, uh, Bennett Terry uh, with three votes, and we're going to move on to uh, the consent agenda. We have two items on the consent agenda this evening. So, the order of events will be we'll see if any commissioners want to pull the items, then we'll go out to the public to see if they have any interest in pulling the items off the consent agenda. Consent agenda means that we will not hear a staff report. Um, and we will just have discuss, a motion and discussion at the commissioner level. So first of all, we'll go to commissioners. 
are any commissioners interested in pulling either item number two, which is a, um, it's a, let's see, what are we doing here? Uh, the zoning ordinance uh, for cannabis deliveries. So that's item number two. And number three um, is a right of way abandonment. Anybody interested in removing either of those from the consent agenda? Okay. Just pause for a second to see if any members of the public have joined and have any interest in removing one of these items from the consent agenda. If you do, raise your hand now um, by using the icon or star nine. Looks like we still have no members of the public present. Clerk, can you confirm that? Yes, that is confirmed. Okay, great. So uh, I will bring it back to the commissioners now, and I will be looking for a motion uh, to uh, on the, both items on the consent agenda um, as presented. So uh, open to any commissioners who might, might want to make a motion. I'll move to approve. Okay. Moved by Commissioner Kennedy. Do we have a second? I'll um, second. Second. Okay. <laughs> Beat me to it. I, I was gonna. I was coming in there a little slow. Uh, so moved by Commissioner Kennedy, seconded by Commissioner Schifrin. Um, is there any discussion that we need to have? Any uh, clarifying questions or anything? Or we go straight to a vote. Well, I had a couple of questions, but I'll be darned if I can find them. Let me just see here. And this would be clarifying questions to staff. Yes. Never mind. I can't find them and okay. they were very minor. There was nothing. Okay. Oh, I know what one was. With the centennial one, was the additional property um, that's being added to that parcel uh, uh, making it possible to add an ADU that was not possible to be added before? No. Um, there's no limitations on lot size for ADU, so it, it wouldn't affect that. Possibly. <laughs> okay. Any okay. any other clarifying questions from from commissioners to staff? Okay. We'll go ahead and go to a vote. Um, we're moving approval of the consent agenda as presented in staff reports for item number two and item number three. Clerk, can we please have a roll call vote? Commissioner Conway. Aye. Commissioner Kennedy. Aye. Commissioner Masidi Miller. Aye. Commissioner Schifrin? Aye. Commissioner Dawson? Aye. Motion carries unanimously. We'll move along to any subcommittee, advisory body, oral reports from any commissioners. So we do have the information item on the tour of buildings. Oh, sorry, I jumped ahead. Uh, thank you. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump back to the informational items. Um, this is item number four. The staff report uh, regarding uh, planning commission tour of buildings looks like Samantha has come on. So um, go ahead, Samantha. Thank you. Um, so I don't really have a staff report, but we did, um, the assistant director did some research on the noticing requirements, which are included in that report. Um, we're very excited about taking you out to see the downtown area and show you the buildings that are in progress, but we did um, think that it would be more beneficial to wait until they were um, constructed. Um, maybe just prior to occupancy, um, we could give you the first look, give you a tour of the interior. You could kind of see how the design plays out in real life what it looks like and then with the noticing that would give you the opportunity to have such discussions um, so that would be our recommendation it's a construction site now even the sidewalks are closed you'd have to walk around with hard hats it might be um, not the ideal situation for everyone and I'm not sure that you would be able to fully see what's going on so that would be our recommendation okay um, just opening it up to any commissioners who want to raise your hand and have any uh, other questions for Samantha or uh, Samantha, thanks for the report, and I brought this up last week. We just put so much effort into the downtown plan and seeing whatever you feel about big buildings, we all want to make the downtown as great as possible. 
So that's why I suggested this. And I agree. I spend my whole day in a hard hat going up and down, so I'm immune to the danger. But um, let's wait a little bit. I just wanted to add it to the discussion. Is affordable housing month May, Julie? I believe so. Anyway, let's do it in a year or two. But um, I'm so proud of the work we all, a lot of us did on those plans and seeing it come to life is really something else. And I just think as a commission, we need to study zoning wise, the things we did to break up those buildings and um, hopefully make them not look as huge as they are. So um, that's my intent and I appreciate the report. Let's follow up in a year once uh, things are less dangerous. Any other questions or comments from commissioners on the informational item? I had a question to staff about whether the decision on the eucalyptus project, uh, eucalyptus tree project was appealed to the council. I, yeah, I do. I do have a few announcements as well. If you guys are um, finished with this topic, we can move on. Yeah, let's let's go ahead, Commissioner Schiff, and let's go ahead and get that in uh, the the uh, next item. So just going back to subcommittee advisory oral report, n nobody has any of those, correct? Okay. So I don't think we have any subcommittees. Ahead. No, we don't. So. Uh, well, there you have it. So um, let's go ahead and go kind of to informational items, items referred to future agendas, and we can go back to Commissioner Schifrin's question then. So Sam, why don't you start with your report and then we'll go ahead and go back to Commissioner Schifrin. I'm sure she'll cover it in her report. <laughs> yes, we received, we received two appeals on the um, 126 eucalyptus project. We received one appeal from a member of the public and we received one appeal from the applicant. Um, so those are currently being reviewed by staff and we are working to set up the exact meeting date for the city council meeting, but it looks like it will probably be in late November, early December, somewhere around that time period that the agendas are getting um, a little full at this time. Um, Can I ask a question? Is, it, is there in the um, code, is there not a requirement for uh, when the council hears an appeal, how much time uh, that limits the amount of time before the council has to hear the appeal? There is, um, and let me pull that up just so I can give you exact information. I believe it says the next available agenda. So it's a little bit open-ended if it's full, um, but we are looking at the possibility of a special meeting if those two agendas, if the, if the upcoming agendas are full. Thank you. Okay, um, Samantha, I have one question. Could, so for the appeals, were they appealing different aspects of the project? And can you talk about a little bit about which each one is appealing? Um, I can say generally, I haven't gone through them in detail yet, um, but one is appealing aspects of the project like the impacts on traffic. Um, and uh, other things. And the other one from the appellant is appealing the um, inclusionary requirement. Okay, great, thank you very much. Any other questions um, or comments from commissioners? Any items to be referred to future agenda? Um, I just have one more update, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, we have a couple more updates. <laughs> um, I wanted to let you know that we do not have anything scheduled for the planning commission meeting in November um, for, for either of them. So at this point, there's nothing scheduled. Um, and then we have two updates on objective standards that Matt Van Wa is gonna jump in and, and give you. There we go. Hi, commissioners. Uh, two quick updates from advanced planning. Uh, for objective standards, we have an FAQ meeting coming up next week that I just wanted you all to be aware of. Uh, it's on Thursday, 27th at 6 p.m. And this FAQ meeting is really going to be about answering any final questions regarding the objective standards item that's going to council on November 15th. 
And I just wanted uh, you all, and if anyone's watching, uh, to be aware we're, we are hoping to answer the questions we receive in writing first, the meeting. So we would like people to, to write in questions if they have any, and we'll take those first. But time permitting, we will also take questions in the meeting as well on any of your, any of those questions on objective standards before the council meeting. And uh, for more information, you can visit the city calendar on that. The meeting's up on that. And then our project website is www.cityofsantacruz.com slash OBJ. Um, Matt, what what email address could the public use to send in questions for this? Yeah, that's a, it's a, the project manager, Sarah Noisy. That's S N E U S E at cityofsantacruz.com. And that, that information is also in both the calendar and the and the project website too. Okay, thank you. And then just a, one more note on objective standards as well. I thought the, the commission would be interested to hear that uh, staff is looking to uh, include uh, some, some language on uh, bus pass requirements. Uh, as part of the, the city council uh, uh, recommendation. Uh, as you know, uh, that was that was a recommendation from the commission uh, earlier this summer. And uh, when we were gonna go back in August, the city council uh, staff at that time was recommending that we look at that more comprehensively with uh, a number of other parking reduction programs as part of the climate action plan uh, things of that nature in 2023. Uh, but given the, the state legislation, AB uh, 2097, which uh, is, a, is around parking reductions uh, for, uh, for sites that are close to high quality transit, uh, that, really, that really gave us the impetus to want to expedite this work and bring forward that bus pass requirement. So be looking for that as well uh, in the council package. So thank you for that. Thanks for that idea, and it's uh, moving forward. I appreciate that. That's that staff has moved in that direction. Thanks. Any other uh, questions from the commissioners for staff, uh, Commissioner Kennedy? I, I think this is for Samantha. Let's say Measure O doesn't pass. What's the soonest? the library mixed use affordable housing project would be in front of us. Is that known or is that just out there? And I'm, I'm sorry to quiz you. I know it's not your project. <laughs> um, it is not set in stone for sure, but um, I think the soonest would probably be around just in sometime in December. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Could I ask a follow up question on that? That. Uh, has that project been through environmental review? I don't see it how it can, I don't see how it can come be to the planning commission before environmental review. So, and that's not going to be December. So, I mean, I think that's uh, may not be realistic, um, given that you know the city, you know the the consultant is going to have to kind of decide and the staff is going to have to decide, maybe ultimately the council is going to have to decide what kind of environmental document is going to be required. Um, because my guess is that even if Measure O fails, um, the opponents to the project are not going to accept that <laughs> with, with in good grace. And, um, I, I, you know, my guess is that they would be challenging the environmental document and at least demanding an EIR. So um, there may be good reason to do an exemption and that may be uh, uh, legally sustainable, but I think there is gonna need to be some time for some kind of the environmental, some environmental document to be prepared. I don't know, Andy, Hope Springs Eternal, it might go through without a lawsuit or an appeal. Eh, maybe, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, any other uh, questions for staff? Okay. Um, Chair, I um, have one more update and 
okay. It was just to answer Andy, uh, Commissioner Schifrin's question about the appeal period to the city council. And so it looks like it needs to go to the city council between 15 and 60 days from the date the appeal is filed. Okay. So sometime before the end of the year-ish, something like that. Um, thank you all, uh, for attending. Thanks to folks who are watching this evening. Um, with that, I will call the October 20th city of Santa Cruz planning commission meeting into adjournment. Thank you all. Thank you everyone. Good night. Good night.